Grasshop friends. Beautiful day in Ohio and I figured I would capitalize on it because so far this summer it's been kind of with rain. So I got my pup in the car. If you haven't met her yet, this is Prudence, my lab German Shepherd mix. Best friend a man could have. But uh, I got the AC cranking back there for her and I got a little time to burn. I'm actually going to get my hairs did and uh, I got like 20 minutes to kill. So what I'm actually going to be doing today is changing it. Well, let me turn this off real quick. Changing out this little trim panel right here and it's actually a lot simpler than you might think. Now this is an original aero style and it's got that silver on it which I kind of hate it because it doesn't match this silver nor this silver nor this chrome trim nor this well you get the point. So I really don't like silver. I like the carbon fiber and this is what I have. This is from a Turbo X for the six speed manual. It is specific. I do have a video swapping this out actually a very simple swap if you want to see that link up here but finally i actually got a matching panel right here and it might be hard to pick up on the camera and if you don't know about these parts they're actually not real carbon fiber these are from turbo x or a cross wheel drive version car with the carbon fiber option but both are some form of a plastic with maybe hydro dipping effect on it i'm not entirely sure but i actually had a lot of trouble finding this for sale and i would like to shout out to my friend chris who sent me this in the mail so i've had it for about a month and uh super excited to install it so it should be pretty simple and actually i'm just gonna because it's so hot out Right now, and I got the dog in the car, I am going to crank up the AC and hopefully get this done relatively quickly. So all we really need to start out is to empty out this glove box. I have a ton of crap in here. Manuals and such. Some other random stuff, but we're going to take some uh, Torx picks out and I'll show you how to remove this. I must say, while this car is idling here with the AC on, it sounds so good. I always forget how good this car sounds, and especially with the six-speed manual, downshifting and getting some crackling. So at some point, I will have to do a sound clip. But uh, here we go. I got the Torx bit, and uh, let's go ahead and tear this apart. So I have a T25 Torx bit in hand. And a lot of times these bolts will not be cranked down, but if they are, just get your ratchet and take it out like any other screw. So we got one up here. This is the passenger air vent. Or I guess my friends over in the UK, this would be on the opposite side there. Have a second Torx bit right here more towards the center console and oh my god okay don't let your wife have an open cup in the cup holder because you end up with that all right so I'm definitely gonna have to clean that at some point anyways finish taking this out oops that's the second one Got two T25 Torx screws out. Go ahead and undo this one. Close this up real quick. Go down here. We'll have one right here and one more right there. So these ones I did have to bust an extension out, but so far basic socket set with a thing of Torx, at least if you have a T25, you can remove this. So now it should wiggle right out. Okay, maybe not as graceful as I wanted it to, but you kind of see the point here. Now I have this draped down here, uh, I guess for reference that's the blower motor. And you have some other electronics and stuff here, but you do not need to disconnect any of this stuff. 
So before we go ahead and start ripping this off with like a trim removal tool or something, we will need to get another T25 screw, torque screw from behind this latch. And it is somewhat difficult to see, but basically looking at this replacement panel, it is located right here. So if you're looking to replace this, this button is part of this unit. And one of the reasons why I didn't want to wrap this in the first place to match this if I could not find this panel is because of this button. And I've wrapped these before that whenever you press this, the button comes back because the wrap must be pushed and folded in here, it'll eventually peel its way out. And it'll look like garbage. And well, quite frankly, this looks like garbage anyways because thou who not shall be named, cough, cough, the wife, sets her feet on long trips here and scratches this to hell. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen with the new panel. But anyways, so let me see if I can get some light and show you where this hidden T25 is. It's going to be very difficult to catch on camera because it's so tucked up in here. But behind the latch mechanism, right there, if my camera focuses, is that T25 Torx. So now let's get that out. And don't be alarmed if this moves, it's just kind of part of the mechanism. It will not go with this glove box trim whenever you pull out. Pops off like such. It's a little bit easier with the trim removal tool, but it's not required. But there's one, two, three, four of these clips. That torque screw right there. And once you remove this, now it's in reverse order. You get to put the new one in. Reverse order, super simple. Pop it in like such. Now, hardest part by far is to get this T25 in behind here re secured. Quite honestly, the best way to go about this is kind of doing it by feel, because uh, as you can see, it is near impossible to see and especially get on camera. So I'm gonna finish tightening this down and I'll show you the next step. Hi, right, this is secured, the little guy behind here, working like it should. Now we just need to lift this glove box up. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. There it is. Two bolts on the bottom, two here and there, and then the one way in the back. So let me tighten those up. All right, so this bolts in, that bolts in, and then that bolts in. There it is. Look at that. Looking good. Just need to clean that. Clean this guy there, It'd be a perfect match. So here is the final product. Well, not my haircut, but the car. Let me show you the car. There it is. Nice squeaky clean. Even got this gross crusted pop off of there. And uh, conveniently, as soon as I got this done, my friggin' clutch spring the little yellow clip on the end that's still up somewhere down here, if you can see it right there, broke. So that's pretty awesome. So now my clutch pedal is probably four times as hard as it should be. But that's actually a simple fix that I've done before on my Black 07 sub, the 60th anniversary 9.3. So if you're curious about that repair, just go ahead and click up there. All right, so there you have it. Hopefully this short little video shows you that changing out that glove box trim, which might seem impossible, or maybe you try to get a trim removal tool in there and you couldn't get it out. Well, hopefully this video showed you how to get it out. And this clutch pedal is so much more intense without that little spring. All right, just got back home, picked up the pooch, and it's 97 degrees. It's actually a little bit hotter, believe it or not, now that the sun is going down. So I'm gonna end the video here. We're gonna head to the park, gonna enjoy the sunset. But I would like to say thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. 
and consider subscribing. I have plenty of other content and especially Saab stuff out there. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, be sure to drop a comment down below. And before I go, I would love to give a huge, huge shout out to my friend Chris. He is the one that made this video possible by sending out this carbon fiber hydro dip piece that is seen in the video today. He actually wrecked his uh, cross wheel drive Saab 93. He claims it's not his fault, but unfortunately, regardless of the situation, his car is non-repairable. So before I went to the junkyard, he pulled some parts off, saw my video whenever I installed the trim piece around the shifter, the bezel there, and said, hey, guess what? I have one of the glove box matching trim pieces and I'll send it out to you. So huge shout out to you, my friend. You made this video possible. So be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.